As urologists making treatment decisions for men newly diagnosed with low-risk prostate cancer, the big decision is whether to treat immediately or to consider active surveillance. Oncotype DX provides additional information beyond standard parameters to enable you and your patients to more confidently choose active surveillance or immediate treatment as the most appropriate initial management strategy. The Oncotype DX test predicts the biologic aggressiveness of the tumor by providing a genomic prostate score, or GPS. The information provided by GPS builds upon what you currently use to make treatment decisions. This new tool provides biologic clarity not previously available. With the Oncotype DX test, you can identify with confidence which early stage patients have favorable biology in other words, less aggressive disease, and may be appropriate for active surveillance. You can also identify those who have more aggressive disease and may need immediate treatment. Knowing the individual underlying biology of your patient's tumor provides for a new level of confidence for making treatment recommendations. The information on the report is personalized based on the individual GPS result as well as the NCCN clinical risk assessment you select on the requisition form when you order the test. Accurate risk assessment for each patient requires an understanding of biologic risk provided by GPS and clinical assessment provided by the NCCN risk group. Please note that this test is specifically validated in NCCN very low, low, and a subset of intermediate risk patients referred to as low intermediate risk. The test has not been studied in high risk patients and therefore should not be considered in those men. It is important that you clearly identify your patient's NCCN or clinical risk group on the requisition form when you place an order for an Oncotype DX prostate assay. The report we are going to review is for a patient with NCCN low risk assessment as indicated by the check box on the requisition form. The Oncotype DX report lists the patient information at the top. You will notice the date on the right, which is when the specimen was received at the Genomic Health Laboratory in Redwood City, California. A report is typically generated within 14 days from when our lab receives the specimen. The Oncotype DX prostate cancer test is a genomic test performed on tissue from a patient's diagnostic needle biopsy. Typically, this would have been collected within the last six months. The Oncotype DX test generates a quantitative genomic prostate score, or GPS, which you can see in the light purple circle. This number will range from 0 to 100. The lower the GPS, the more favorable the tumor biology and less aggressive the disease. Conversely, the higher the GPS, the more aggressive and less favorable the biology. When you receive the report, you will notice that there is always one box within the horizontal bar which is shaded in purple. The shaded box corresponds to the NCCN clinical risk group that you indicated on the requisition form when you ordered the test. The GPS result above the risk box will be to the left when the biology is more favorable than predicted by clinical criteria alone, or to the right when it is less favorable than would be predicted by clinical criteria. If the GPS result aligns within the purple box, the patient's biology is consistent with his clinical criteria. The value of GPS goes beyond refining a patient's risk group. The UCSF validation study for GPS demonstrated that within each NCCN clinical risk groups, patients had a tremendous variability in their risk, which could not be readily ascertained without knowledge of the GPS. Now, with GPS, you're able to precisely predict each patient's risk. Within each NCCN clinical risk group, for lower GPS values, the patient is expected to have more favorable pathology or less aggressive disease. For higher GPS values, the patient is expected to have less favorable pathology or more aggressive disease. Using current tools, such as Gleason score and PSA, this patient was classified as NCCN low risk as indicated by the highlighted purple box. 
based on NCCN clinical risk alone, you might estimate that this patient's risk of harboring adverse pathology would be somewhere between 30 and 40 percent, which is the average risk for the broad population of patients classified as NCCN low risk. Nevertheless, we know that NCCN low risk patients represent a very heterogeneous group with a very wide range of risk. There are clearly men classified as NCCN low risk who behave clinically like men with very low risk and others who harbor more aggressive disease who behave clinically more like men with intermediate risk or even high risk disease. With a sophisticated genomic tool like GPS, you can now provide a more accurate and more personalized risk assessment. By incorporating GPS and looking at the biology of the tumor, this report shows that his GPS is eight, which is a low score and indicates more favorable biology. You now have a quantitative percentage of 84%. This is his predicted likelihood of favorable pathology that is low grade 3 plus 3 or 3 plus 4 organ confined disease. Looked at another way, he now has a 16% chance of adverse pathology. In other words, high grade dominant pattern 4 or any pattern 5 and or non-organ confined disease. Prior to GPS, his risk of adverse pathology was estimated to be about one in three. By incorporating the information from GPS, his risk is predicted to be significantly lower and closer to one in six. It is important to note that the risk falls on a continuum and individual men and their doctors will have different thresholds for decision making. For many men, the finding of a low GPS result and consequently a predicted likelihood of favorable pathology in the range of very low risk may enable a decision to pursue a program of active surveillance. For others, confirmation that the tumor does not harbor unexpectedly high risk disease may be enough to choose active surveillance confidently. Ultimately, the new approach to a more accurate risk assessment based on an understanding of individual tumor biology should provide the critical information and certainty to make informed, personalized treatment decisions. At the bottom of the report, you will see the individual components of favorable pathology broken out by high-grade disease and non-organ confined disease. For some men, GPS will predict the risk of adverse pathology to be higher than expected based on clinical factors alone. For those patients, the choice of immediate therapy may be influenced by specific information about the likelihood of high-grade disease and or non-organ confined disease. If the GPS result predicts biology more favorable than clinical criteria alone, the patient has a likelihood of favorable pathology consistent with NCCM very low risk, where an active surveillance may be the most appropriate option. His risk is now in the same range you would expect for men with very low risk characteristics, that is, meeting Epstein criteria, a group that we know has been successfully and safely managed with active surveillance. If the GPS result predicts biology consistent with his clinical criteria, this more accurate and precise assessment of risks should be used to inform whether active surveillance or immediate treatment may be the most appropriate option for the patient. Now, if the GPS result predicts biology less favorable than clinical criteria alone, the patient's likelihood of favorable pathology is consistent with NCCN intermediate risk patients, where immediate treatment may be required. The Oncotype DX GPS report provides information that you need to be able to make more informed, personalized treatment decisions with confidence for your newly diagnosed men with very low, low, and selected low intermediate risk disease. Every aspect of the report is designed to place the patient's individual tumor biology into clinical context and to help clarify and simplify the difficult decisions and discussions you and your patients face. 
This will allow you to recommend active surveillance or immediate therapy with a degree of sophistication, precision, and confidence that has not been available before.